So, yo, I just got the question about KD heading to the Warriors. It's okay. My, um, my whole thing is basically, you know, uh, he a grown man. He made a grown man decision. Uh, right. Change is good, you know, at all times, you know what I'm saying, as long as it's to try to strive for a, a, a positive outcome. So um, I don't see nothing bad with doing that. Um, obviously, he knows that team very well. He's battling them in the playoffs, things of that nature, playing four times a year. He must have liked what they had going. You can't get mad at him. Same thing with LeBron James did. However, it's just a, 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 a style of basketball that, you know, winning is a is like contagious and you want to be a part of that. It's addictive. You know, um, here it is, a guy that's probably arguably one of the best, the, the best player in the league next to LeBron um, or probably even feel he's better than LeBron. Uh, you can't you know, go wrong with that decision. It's like playing a video game and you get to shuffle the rosters. That's what this felt like. And KD being on the Warriors make them uh, a tough team. Uh, definitely feel that void at the three spot. And uh, they're going to they gonna be a problem. Uh, so we just got to get ready, man. Uh, right now, like I said, I could just wish them the best. And, when they come to the Grizzlies, when they come to play the Grizzlies, it's going to be a packed house. That's all I can imagine. I'm thinking about the crowd round, roaring. I'm thinking about trash talk. I'm thinking about those guys having a chip on their shoulder. Whoever they play next year is going to be a problem. So, no ill feelings about, you know, KD going to the Warriors. Salute. Signing out your boy, the grandfather. Ah.